Welcome into Larry's Country Diner. We got a great show for you today. You don't want to go anywhere. But right now, the centerpiece of our dining table, <laughs> like a spray of beautiful flowers, here's Larry! More spray than beauty. Well, that's true. That, uh -huh. Don't say that. Let me have them their promises. Oh, so you want the colored ones? I, oh, I like colored ones, yeah. We can do red today. Okay. There he goes. I'm going to put this Those days are over, you. Larry. And anyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. That's Acts 2.21. Amen. On the flip side of that is Exodus 15.2. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my victory and my song, T. I'll say yes to either one of those. You betcha. Man from the IRS came to visit and said, it's been reported that you're not paying minimum wages to your help. Who works here and what are you paying them? Well, Renee does the computer work. I said, <laughs> I pay her $10 an hour. Then there's Keith. He's our gopher. I pay him $9 an hour. Then there's the half wit. I pay 50 cents an hour on all the tobacco he wants. IRS guy says, that's the one I want to talk to, the half wit. So I said, you're talking to the half wit. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think you were going to chill about that guy coming to the office. <laughs> <laughs> right. Hey. Yeah. So good to have you here. Man. I was telling Sheila on the way, I, I love y'all very much, and it's an honor to be here, to be included in the family. And on the way here, Sheila was driving. I reached over and patted her on her leg. I said, thanks for moving to Nashville. <laughs> I was just so, I mean, we're so blessed. It's just a wonderful thing to be included in all this stuff. You and, have blessed us. And to make records and, you know, the whole yep. Nashville experience. Is what are you going to start out singing? Well... You know, some of your help that probably only gets paid half of minimum wage, uh -huh. Terry Choate. Yeah, oh, yeah. Used to work at Tree International Publishing Company. Yep, he did. He called me up and asked me if I'd sing a demo for him, which Buddy Killen used to run that place. Wow, well, yep. He would pay $20 a song. Wow. And then he'd take tax out. So, <laughs> so you'd come over and work all day and you'd get $16 and something. <laughs> but anyway, the good thing of it is, one of the songs that Terry wanted me to sing was I Tell It Like It Used To Be. And this right. was before I ever got a record deal or anything. So I sang it. About two years later when I got a record deal that Terry helped me to get. That's the first thing we cut was I tell it like it used wow. to be. It was still sitting on the shelf. So and we had a hit. And Dan, I mean, Ben is going to help me. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry, Ben. Uh, is going to help me sing I tell it like it used to be. Ben Hall. There you go. That's it. They say that I'm the kind of man that always speaks his mind. Tell me there's nothing stronger than the truth. They can ask me almost anything and I'll tell it like it is. But darling, when they ask me about you, I'll tell it like it used to be. When you were still in love with me Before you got too used to me And wanted someone new I tell it like it ought to be Cause how it is is killing me When they ask about you and me I tell it like it used to be I wish that I was stronger I could tell them that you're gone Well, but that's one thing that I may never do If they want to hear about our love And how it all went wrong 
Well, darling, they'll just have to talk to you. I'll tell it like it used to be when you were still in love with me before you got too used to me and wanted someone new. I tell it like it ought to be cause how it is is killing me when they ask about you and me I tell it like it used to be hit me Ben well, I tell it like it used to be when you were still in love Before you got too used to me And you wanted someone new I tell it like it ought to be Cause how it is is killing me Yes, when they ask When they ask about you and me I tell it like it used to be Oh, yes, I do, baby. Yeah. Yeah! Woo! God bless you. I had a question. Thank y'all. Where'd you find that guitar player? This one? It was provided by your, your crack crew. The cracked crew? Crack. Yeah, old crack. <laughs> no, Terry Choate, I believe. Well, who called you, Ben? Terry Choate called. Terry yeah. Choate. Terry Choate knows where to find the very best, you see. Not sure where he found me, but I'm glad he did. <laughs> Pleased to be here. How long have you been playing guitar? Seven years old, so I've 20, 23, give or take, a few months. <laughs> wow. wow. I mean, I, I heard the licks on that thing, and I thought, gee whiz. Hey, That's man. the record. He's a professional. He's been on our cruise with us, Larry. There's a lot to work with here. Uh, a whole lot. Ben was on a cruise. Well. And you're competing against that red shirt. So. <laughs> That's it. That's it. That's it. You were on a cruise with us? A couple years ago. On, was I there? Uh, CFR. <laughs> 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 you were, but Les Singer was not. And, okay. and uh, I, was, I was privileged to get to sub for him. Sure wow. was fun. Country music on the ocean. How much better can it get? That's right. I wish I'd remembered that. <laughs> and making a living playing the guitar. <laughs> That's great. There, there are things during that time limit that, that I don't remember a whole lot of. You, you had good reason, but I, <laughs> I, I was there and, and really appreciated the opportunity as I do today. Thanks for having me. Yes, well, thank you for being here. That just, that was scrumptious. See, now, though, the good thing is I got a sub for the band. If I ever need a sub, I can <laughs> That's right. call Ben. That's Anytime. right. Yeah. Uh, let's see. We got the song. <laughs> <laughs> we did the promise. Hey. What? Hey, look at Joe. What's he telling we you? We didn't do the break. That's what we're going to do. Take a break right here. <laughs> Larry gets straightened out in a minute, and we'll be right back. And welcome back to Larry's Country. Oh, wait till you hear our special today, Larry. It's the what? T. Graham Brown. I tell it like you used to be old-fashioned, hand-mixed milkshake, whole milk, real ice cream full of fat, sugar, carbs, <laughs> calories, and it's delicious. Can I get an amen? Amen. amen. Can, we get a, can we get a Nadine? <laughs> well, we might. Oh, Nadine. If you beg her real hard. Nadine. Woo, Come on, Nadine. Tell it like it used to be. I love that song. Isn't it good? You should have seen me out there, T. Green. I was out there dancing in the hallway. Well, I don't know if I want to see you. <laughs> <laughs> you went without it. I've seen the way you move. <laughs> Moonwalk. That's bad. It's bad. 
Oh, the time that she moonwalked up on Branson. Oh, oh. I never will forget that. Lost her balance. Put Jimmy <laughs> Fortune on his knees. It was funny. <laughs> when did she lose her wig? One well, time she lost her wig. That Almost. was with uh, Wilson Fairchild. <laughs> <laughs> he was on the floor. <laughs> That Wilson was Fairchild, they're going to be with us in, in Branson, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Yes, I hope so. We'll have to try that again. Yeah, I mean, you were, you were on the floor. Mm -hmm. Poor old Jimmy. No, I wasn't on the floor. Jimmy was on the floor. I was going back. <laughs> <laughs> I was moonwalking, and I got carried away. Yeah. She's going like this. It was I the last, last oh, time man. I ever moonwalked. Larry, <laughs> she'll have to do that next week or next month. That's right. Again. Yeah. You yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you got enough money to make me moonwalk again. <laughs> <laughs> I What's, tell you, go ahead. I, uh, we, me and Homer started back to church since this whole thing's been going on. They let on. you in? They let us in. And if we didn't have to wear a mask, they kept us six feet apart and all that kind of stuff. And uh, But I'm going to tell you something. These churches that are letting people drink coffee in the sanctuary... You can't let those things go over an hour anymore. It's just not right for us old people. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. uh, we <laughs> uh, <laughs> don't want to explain all that, but you know what? I think I get it. You, you get it. Brenda explained yep. it to me. Something about a bathroom. Uh -huh. We had to uh, change to the contemporary service because Homer figured out it was code for wear jeans to church. Uh -huh. So we're going to the contemporary service now. We pulled up in the parking lot the other day, and I told him, I said, you have been you know, trying to get around this membership thing for 15 years, and he's still using member, uh, Vista parking. Really? So we can get right up front. 15 years we've been doing that. They're going to they're gonna catch God him pretty knows. soon. I know, he does. He's telling him to get a handicap sign. sign. Well, he had his mama's, and I made him throw it away. <laughs> <laughs> he kept it. Had 20 years. <laughs> That's about right. But I, could, I can't handle that. <laughs> Using it when you, when you don't need it. But anyway, um, I got something in my eye. Um, Your finger. Get it out of there. <laughs> no, it hurts. But uh, our little church is precious. Although our... Um, a lot of them are musically unsophisticated. <laughs> they, uh, they think that a cantata is, a, is an entree at Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> they really do. Three cantatas. We was in Sunday school the other day, and the teacher said, who knows about the Tower of Babel? And you know what Homer said? He said, isn't that where Solomon kept all his wives? <laughs> <laughs> but he, I, the, the, the funny part was my, uh, <laughs> Can't think about I smacked, it, man, smacked him for that one. I smacked him for that one. But uh, it reminded me, my daddy was a preacher when I was little. Well, he was a preacher the whole time. But, <laughs> but, uh, but uh, we used to have all these evangelists come into our house, you know, and stay. Because yep. we couldn't afford a hotel for them, so they had to come to your house and stay. And... Uh, one time, this one old man had to sleep with my brother. <laughs> it's only, I mean, we didn't, all the beds were filled yep. and there was no couch. I mean, the couch was filled. So anyway, he gets in the bed and uh, Bill gets out. He says, you know, I gotta go. Bill didn't say it to him, but he got out to go to the bathroom and he, he gets down by the bed and he's standing there, he's got his head in his hands and the preacher wanted to, uh, the preacher didn't want to make him feel bad, so he got out and knelt down like he was gonna pray. <laughs> And Bill looked at him and he said, my mama's going to be mad at you. He said, why would, he be, why would she be mad at me? He said, because the pot's on my side. <laughs> <laughs> you remember those? Oh, I felt that one coming. Do y'all remember yeah, yeah. those? <laughs> All right. your people will understand. I'm going to put the sign up. And, and it's going to say? Success isn't about how much money you make. It's, the, it's about the difference you make in other people's lives. That is true. I know. That's a good Jimmy. Yeah. Good Jimmy quote. Mm -hmm. T. Graham. I went to see Bill Gaither. Yeah. I went to visit him. Sheila and I did. So we were sitting in his office, and he was showing us stuff, you know. He pulled out this size 22 <laughs> shoe. I mean, it was long. 
And I, I thought it was a display shoe from right. somewhere. It was Shaquille O'Neal's shoe. Oh, he had wow. An wow. On. It was unbelievable. Wow. I, I, so an 18. <laughs> oh, gone. That's nothing, Those guys man. have got to be seven, eight feet tall <laughs> to have feet that big. <laughs> what I, what I want to know is what were you doing with Bill Gates? Not Bill Gates. Bill, Bill Gaither. Gaither. Oh. <laughs> That's Huge good. difference. Let me see if I can crank up Sorry. your hair and ain't here. <laughs> Bill Gaither. Oh, oh, that now that reminds me. <laughs> Let me tell you one right quick. So I did this uh, TV show. This friend of mine made this TV show, and called me up wanting to know if I would be in an episode of it. And it was in Kentucky, in Park City, Kentucky, and. I went up there, and I'd never, I'd never met him, but we talked, and, and so he came out to the car. Sheila and I pulled up in a truck, and he came out there and introduced himself, and, and uh, his name was Chip Rossetti, and we yacked, and I, I said, well, who all's here? And he said, so-and-so, and so-and-so, and so-and-so, and, -so -and, -so -and, -so and Robert Shepard. And I said, Robert Shepard, I don't know. He said, oh, you know, man, the hearing aid guy. <laughs> <laughs> and I, that was my, that's my favorite commercial, you know. Uh, you know, I love you, Dad. What? You know that one? Uh -huh. yeah, oh, so yeah, I yeah. ran in there. I ran in there and found him and ran up to him. And, and I said, will you do it for me? And he did. <laughs> so so as, when I left, I wanted to tape him. And, and so I had my, uh, my iPad out there, and I said, okay, okay. And uh, he said, 3,000, 5,000, whatever they can get. It's just <laughs> ridiculous. And I went, I love you, Dad. And he went, what? And I said, I, said, I love you, Dad. And he went, I heard you the first time. <laughs> I just wanted to hear it again. <laughs> <laughs> See, I didn't say the name of the hearing aid, so it's not like I gave him a plug. Yeah. No, 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 I wouldn't go. do that. So We're going to come back in a minute. We've got to take a quick break. <laughs> did you ever get the idea T. Graham's very easily entertained? Oh, I, I man, I love He's going to entertain us when we come back. Larry's Cut the Diner. Country Diner. Now, if we can get through the story part, yep. T. Graham may sing us a song, right? Yes. Yeah, Larry. What you want me to do? I want you to sing. <laughs> All right. I was. Ben. I had a list of the uh, commercials that you used to. You did at one point. I did a bunch of them. Didn't, didn't you have a line in your song? A shoulder. Something about a shoulder to lean on. No. Oh, it must be somebody else. Jingles, oh. McDonald's, Disneyland, Budweiser, Coors, uh, Stroh's, Almond Joy, Coca-Cola, Sears, Dodge Trucks, Ford, Hardee's, Kentucky Fried Chicken, Nashville Network, BC Powders, Dr. Pepper Mountain Dew, 7-Up, Harris, and many others. And many others. Mm -hmm. Wow. All right. I'm Hit looking out there at Sheila. She's got this funny look on her face out there. <laughs> Normally, normally I couldn't see her, but there she is. I love you, <laughs> Sheila. Thanks for moving to Nashville. <laughs> Let's do a Wood Newton song that Sheila's been wanting me to do forever. I, I ran through it with Ben. This is the first time I've ever sung it. All right. Other than the little thing we did back there. It's written by Wood Newton. That's Fig's sister, isn't it? Yeah. Pig's sister. There's a natural wonder between us, but it don't seem natural to me that you could walk away from the love we made here in Tennessee. Just leave everything we work for to start another life. I saw you drive across the Memphis Bridge, but I don't believe my eyes. Oh, I can see Arkansas across the Mississippi, and I can see the Big River Bar 
heading down to New Orleans And I can see the cotton field on the other side The sun going down again Oh, I could see Arkansas But I still can't see why the love we had should end Now if it proved how much I love you I'd swim this old river tonight I'd bet my soul against the undertow For the chance to hold you tight But there's more than a river between us And I can't swim that far As hard as I try, I still can't The memories of where you are Oh, now I can see Arkansas Across the Mississippi I can see the big river barge are Heading down to New Orleans And I can see the cotton fields On the other side The sun going down again Oh, I can see Arkansas But I still can't see why the love we had should end Oh, now I can see Arkansas Across the Mississippi And I can see the big river bar Headed down to New Orleans And I can see the cotton fields On the other side The sun going down again I can see Arkansas, but I still can't see why the love we had should end. Mm, Thank you, Wood Newton. Where are you? Thank you, T. Get us out of here. We'll be right back. All right. More Larry's Country Diner on the way. Don't go anywhere. Well, welcome back to Larry's Country Diner, and that fellow right there, that's Larry. What you gonna sing for us? What am I gonna sing for him, Sheila? She said whatever you wanna sing. Let's do... Let it all hang out. I'm gonna surprise you. <laughs> They say you found somebody new. Oh, T. Graham Brown. Oh, but that won't stop my loving you. Just can't let you walk away. Forget the love that we once knew. Thank you. Guess I could find somebody new. That easy to forget Before you go I'll make sure you find You want his love Much more than mine Cause I'll just say We never met If I'm that easy to forget That easy to forget. That's it. <laughs> Thought I was pantomiming. 
Ben Hall. Ben Hall. He, I got time for a three-minute song. Got time for what? A three-minute song. Okay. Uh, you know what? You had a you had a joke. Did you have a joke? Oh, I did. I, I did. I did. I did. I did. It's right joke. here. I'd rather hear you sing. Have you heard his joke? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I can find it quick enough. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. <laughs> I am I that easy to forget? You know, husband, wife. I, I know which one. There it is. It depends on how you say it. Husband says, let's go on vacation. The wife says, our marriage is a vacation. Well, she didn't say it quite that way. What she said was, when I married you, it was my last resort. Ah. <laughs> and That's I wrote, a good one, Sheila. I wrote this song, Bruce Birch, Bruce Bout, and we were sitting around. It's called The Last Resort. Oh. And it's about that. Hit us with it. I'm glad we took this holiday At least we've got a week or two to stay And just get away Away from all the hurrying Forget about the worry Just you and I Now we've come back To try to find That part of us We left behind Can we save our love Make it the way it was before Here at the last resort Remember when we first came here It doesn't seem like that many years ago That we were so close Time can erase those memories But time has been our worst enemy We both know our love's dying slow Now we've come back To try to find That part of us We left behind Can we save our love Make it the way it was before Here at the last resort So this is where it all began Let's don't let this be where it ends Cause we've come back to try to find That part of us we left behind We can save our love, make it the way it was before Here at the last resort at the last resort This is our last resort Woo, thank, thank you. you Thank you Ben T. Graham, thank you very much Get us out of here, we're done okay. Thank you very much Larry's Country Diner, we need one more thing You know what we always do at the end of the show Larry's Country Diner, where the cameras are always rolling And we, we don't, don't care, care.